Hi, welcome back to Golf KRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Hi, welcome back to Golf KRC. Quick video today, <coughs> and it's to discuss the Xeno 2, and also you'll have seen some videos that have been put on my channel promoting the new Femi Palm which is coming out. So I'll just discuss more about the Femi Palm and also I'm going to show you a video which will be playing now which is the promo video that Hudson have released for the Xeno 2. Uh, there is still a lot of people being sceptical about Xeno 2 and I don't really understand it. The price point is great, £399. Are you taking a huge gamble? Not really, you know the Xeno works, it had issues with these. For, uh, firmware when it first came out they got ironed out I'd imagine the same thing may well happen with the two but it, if it does so you'll just have to update the firmware and keep updating the firmware so until they get it right but the price point is what's important here it's 4k 60 frames a second the Z Note 1 is now to me an absolute bargain it's a great flyer it flies superbly and you can pick it up from 196 I think from Gearbest at the minute there'll be a link down in the description below if you want to buy one at that price so it really is a no-brainer, an absolute bargain. So if you're watching this video, you're going to see, so take some things with a pinch of salt, obviously the way it's precision landing works, because we know that isn't the best at the minute, but it's getting better and better, and it will improve by the time, maybe not at launch, but certainly soon afterwards. The launch date, supposedly the 1st of January, they're going to ship, whether that they will or not, that remains to be seen. But this is a solid drone at that money. You know it can fly well already. They've just built on the fact the success of the first one and how that has flown. People have had flyaways. They have on everything. I read about Parrot every day and everything else. DJI drones fly away. You're always taking a little bit of a gamble when you buy a drone. Let's be totally honest here. They're not the... Because of the nature of the beast, the way it works, you've got a lot of electronics in there, things can go wrong. But at this price point, it really is great. I love the Xeno 1, if you've been watching my channel, you'll know I do. And I'm really looking forward to the Xeno 2 coming out. I think it's going to be a massive game changer in the market. This has got 4K, 60 frames a second for £399 uh, pound or dollars, or sorry, £399, dollars. it's £380 or £28 pound in the UK. It really is a game changer, it's cheaper than the Femi x 8 se The only thing I don't like about this is the weight and that's because probably it's running on a 4S battery and the type and the uh, spec of the battery is making this thing really heavy. But you've already miled over the 250 limit anyway so it doesn't really make too much of a difference, not in the UK at the minute anyway. There's a load of things I like, I love the fact it's got um, a 4K 60 frames per second camera, I love the fact it's got optical flow now put on there. Uh, I love the 100 megabits per second um, bitrate it's now supposedly transferring at and it hasn't got optical avoidance but it's not got optical avoidance there's nothing you can do about that and a lot of people commented on my other video and uh, emailed saying they really wanted optical avoidance well at that money you're not going to get optical avoidance probably the maybe the Mavic Mini doesn't have it the Femi X8 ESC doesn't have it but this is a really nice drone for the money and that's what it is a really nice drone for the money or it's going to be the proof of being the pudding obviously let's get it in the hands of some of the testers I've seen the uh, I watched QC guy's video the other day and he was saying who's going to get it which people will get it to review to do a, a review on it before it's launched or maybe at the same time it's launching and the list of people who listed I'd watch QC guy's video let's put it that way let's watch his video let's see what he says about it when it comes out to know if you've made the right decision on your pre-order I, I, I have no doubt it'll be some bugs in it but I think overall it'll be a great one so enjoy the rest of this video and I'll cut back to you when I want to talk about the theme uh, about the Phoebe farm
So you see over the last few days I've been posting videos on this thing called the Femi Palm, which is a 4K 3-axis handheld gimbal. Everything's built into it, very, very similar to the Osmo Pocket. So I no longer own the Osmo Pocket, I got rid of that. So I've been looking at this and I stumbled on it back to because this fills the gaps that the problem I had with the other pocket was. So the other pocket I bought it and didn't use it anywhere near as much as I thought I was going to use it. And that was for a few reasons. One being I wanted to use it for doing videos like this. So if I was out and about I could just talk to you and I could just maybe do these type of chat videos on location somewhere. If I was out flying I could just do one at the side of the field or something like that. And I couldn't because of two reasons. One, I wasn't paying another 40 odd pound for the adapter or how much money it was to plug an, an external microphone and then the internal microphone just wasn't good enough. It wasn't the worst I've seen, but it wasn't the best. And that was another thing. So, and also for lining shots up, I'd have had to have, a, I wanted it on Wi Fi so I could connect my, cam my phone to it and have it underneath it or somewhere on bound on my tripod so I could see that I was like I am now. So, at the minute I'm using a camera that with a flick up screen at the rear so I can know I'm in shot. So, uh, that was another thing, I'd have to pay another 30 or £40 pound for the Wi-Fi module. All this was starting to get crazy, I paid 329 for the camera. And the other thing I didn't like about it was, when I wanted to pan with the um, gimbal itself, I had to move the screen, so I didn't have any buttons for it. This address was all of them, but for $139. Is it going to be as good image? No, I've seen, I posted a video showing you a quick comparison. It wasn't mine, I think it's the Gearbest website. And they posted a quick comparison and it looks oversaturated, does the theme? Let's be totally honest, on them videos it looks oversaturated. It's $139 compared to £139 compared to, two. I think it's been reduced now. Is it 269 or 289 Someone will correct me in the video down below. But it has the features I've been looking for. I certainly am getting one because I want to, and I'll use it for doing videos like this. As I said, when I'm out and about, because it's easier for me to do a shoot of a video. So rather than me doing a commentary over the top of the video, I'd rather just talk to you and tell you about the video before I start, rather than go buy another camera or take this rig out with me every time I go. I don't want to do that. It's just too much messing around. I leave everything rigged up here. So that's why I wanted one of them. And that's why, to me, it looks like a bit of a no-brainer. The camera's not going to be horrendous because it's a Phoebe camera. It's going to be decent. So, and it's a bit of oversaturation, I can live with that to be fair, for that big price difference. And it is a huge price difference, and the fact that I get a plug-in microphone, I get Wi-Fi out of the box, I get Bluetooth out of the box. All these things make a massive difference if you're buying one, to me anyway, to me anyway. And of course it's Femi, so it should be something like, so I just wanted to do a quick one on that. All I've done is posted videos so far for Christmas when I just found it. So, oh, let's show this out. Let's people have a look at it in case they've not seen it before like I hadn't. So I wanted to do a little bit of it in more in-depth one of telling you why I was buy I was going to buy one. It got better. Runtime on the camera, on the battery. Having said that, the runtime on the Osmo Pocket was fine. It, no, I never had an issue with that at all. So it's not going to be a, that was never going to be a deal breaker. So I've left links for everything down below for the products uh, for the Femi Palm and also for the Hubson Zeno 2 I've left and the Hubson Zeno 1 because I think you can buy 108 I can't remember what the price is 189 pounds I think it is from Gearbest the cheapest I've seen it so far with one battery um, I'm just leaving this one you, uh, another video I did the best video I thought what was my best uh, drone of 2019, can't even speak this one, of 2019, last said it was the Hubson Zeno, and I sold my Hubson Zeno, uh, so having this out coming another price of Gearbest, because I'd already bought another one, but didn't pay anywhere near this price, I paid far more than that, so I bought another Zeno, uh, I wasn't going to buy the Zeno Pro, but I decided not to, so I bought another Zeno, you'll see how I get on with that, I'll post a video soon, letting you know how I get on with my new Zeno, well it's still Zeno 1, but letting you know how I get on with it, and how much fun I have with that, because I, I regretted immediately selling it, so I bought another. So, thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day, I hope you've had a great Christmas, and I hope you have a fantastic New Year, and look forward to your New Year celebrations if you're having any, and if you are, just be careful out there, have a fantastic time, see you all in 2020. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.